Okay, to integrate sine to the fifth power of 7x dx, first I recommend getting this 7x out of the equation by substituting u as 7x, and then du is 7 dx, and so you can rewrite this as the integral, or one seventh times the integral of sine to the fifth u du. Then you're thinking, well, I would like to integrate this sine, but there's no cosine to make it a u to the n du, and there's no closed form formula to, to use for sine to the n. And so what you can do is just use a little creative factoring. So just factor out one sine term, so sine u, and then leave the other four all together. And then you can exploit this uh, factor of 4 in the following way. So you can rewrite this um, where that power of 4 is now just written as 1 minus cosine squared u all squared du. You see how there's 4, there's sine of the fourth is really sine squared squared. And so the inside piece here is sine squared u, and then if you square that, um, you'll get sine of the fourth. So now we can FOIL this out, and 1 seventh sine u times, again, I'm just squaring this binomial, so 1 minus 2 cosine squared u plus now it's cosine to the fourth u du. Now that you've expanded this binomial, you'll notice that, well, each of these terms, once you distribute the sine, can be rewritten as a u to the n du problem, where, or maybe more specifically, a w to the n du problem because here we've already got u. So what I recommend is setting w equal to cosine u and then dw is negative sine u du. And so in the term in terms of our original problem, sine u du is negative dw. So let's perform this substitution. So one seventh and the sine u du is going to be negative dw. Now this negative I'm just going to bring out in front. Now I have 1 minus 2. Instead of cosine squared, it's going to be just w squared plus w to the fourth. And this is all times um, the infinitesimal dw. Next we simply perform the integration using linearity. So we have negative 1 7th times w plus 2w cubed over 3 times 7 plus w to the fifth over 5 times 7, and then this negative needs to be distributed as well. And so in the end, w is cosine u, but u is 7x, so this is really just a cosine 7x. And so in the end, you want negative cosine 7x over 7 plus 2 cosine 7x cubed over 21 minus cosine 7x to the fifth over 35 and then let's not forget our plus c at the end. Alrighty, that's all she wrote.